Hey, this is Dr. Brian Wansink from the Cornell Food and Brand Lab. Hey, do you know a lot of people who complain about fast food and kind of think it's evil? Yeah, I think we all know a lot of people like that. But what if we were to design a restaurant that could profitably nudge people to eat a little bit better and eat a little bit less at the same time without chasing away that people want a bacon cheeseburger with American cheese? What might we do? Well, you know, we might put salads as a default, and if they want french fries, they could get it, or if they wanted uh, those little uh, nugget things in the morning for breakfast, they could get it. But they, as a matter of fact, just get salad to begin with. We could put all the healthy stuff first, all the stuff with the vegetables up at the top, and things with bacon and stuff down at the bottom, so you could still get it, but you would have to make decisions about the healthy things before you got down to it. Well, we might want to consider putting calories in some items. We might uh, actually highlight water, milk, and um, diet pop instead of the full calorie stuff. We could do all that sort of stuff. You know, I'm here in Taipei, Taiwan. It's about 6.01 in the morning, and that's what this restaurant does. What's this restaurant? It's Burger King, okay? Oh, that's the good stuff. Now, the key to behavioral economics and nudging is actually giving companies and giving ourselves the suggestions about what can profitably help them help us eat better, okay? And they're not going to do something silly that causes them to lose money, but there's a ton of stuff out there that a restaurant that even 7-Eleven can do to help us choose better, eat better, and make a lot of money doing it. That's what the challenge for us is to do, is to come up with ways and say, here's how you can help me eat better. If it's a grocery store that you say, look, I want an aisle-free checkout that has zero candy in it, okay? You say, that would help me eat better. And for restaurant says, ah, forget it, I'm not going to do that. You can say, oh, well, maybe the uh, restaurant down the street is. We'll do it. There's not a lot of things that restaurants won't do and companies won't do and grocery stores won't do if they think they can make a lot of money. And that's where us as consumers can give them ideas about what they can do that can make us happier because we've got the greatest skill in the world and that's the skill to go somewhere else. Hey, let's help change the world starting in the U.S. and Canada and moving to Taipei and Taiwan and Tokyo. Okay. We'll see you. Good luck. Bye-bye.